And when you report to the federal government, you start doing things in terms of FTEs. And when a council of economic advisors look at it, they look at things in terms of a more macro basis of, of, of the indirect jobs that are created. But what I like to have uh, monthly reports on is how many people do we have out working on our projects. In the month of November, 3,829 people were out working on PennDOT projects alone. That's 3,829 people who are paying the mortgage, who are paying the electric bill, who are spending on food, who are able to have Christmas spending. I mean, all the things the economists talked a little bit earlier about getting out there and spending those funds. Um, and uh, we are um, anxiously awaiting for the December results, although we anticipate naturally with construction, we'll see a little bit of a drop off uh, through the winter months. One other note on PennDOT as far as results go, um, not that we're competitive at all here in Pennsylvania, but yeah, we do keep track of how we're doing compared to other states. Um, we are now ranked sixth in the country uh, by the um, House Infrastructure Committee on our ability to move the funding. And I'd like to report that um, Maine, Wyoming, Utah, New Hampshire, and Iowa have all been ahead of us. And Jim Ritzman tells me if you add up all of them combined, they didn't even get as much money as us. Um, and our closest competitor, not that we're competitive at all, our closest competitor in terms of states that would be similar to Pennsylvania is at number 13 with Illinois. Um, so PennDOT has done a tremendous job moving these funds out, getting it started early, getting people working on these jobs, um, and, and helping to get the economy moving. The next major area that we jumped on right away was in the area of water and wastewater infrastructure. Again, we knew we could get the highway construction moving. How do we get some other phases of the construction market going? And the advantage of water and wastewater is that you're now beyond concrete and rebar and paving, and you're into, um, uh, you're into uh, equipment, you're into electrical work, you're into duct work, you're into mechanical work, and you're into projects that tend to last a little bit longer than a transportation project. Our method for funding this was through PennVest. Uh, currently, we have over 105 projects that have gone to settlement uh, for, of our total of $212 million in PennVest investments. And over 100, and 104 of that 105 have already started. Uh, again, in our, in our goal to move that out. In terms of jobs, um, we estimate that in the month of November, 5,298 people, because I shouldn't say estimate, it doesn't really sound like an estimate, 5,298 people we're working on PennVest projects throughout the Commonwealth. The advantage of PennVest projects, too, is it starts taking us into some areas of the Commonwealth that may not have major transportation infrastructure, where PennDOT may be making investments. So you start seeing new water facilities in Hazleton. You start seeing a new wa uh, wastewater plant in Manavoy City up in Schuylkill County. Um, you start seeing work in Armstrong County, Crawford County, on water and wastewater infrastructure. And that was important for us to do to start moving some of these projects beyond the big in transportation infrastructure areas and out into some of the smaller local communities. Uh, we're ranked now, uh, PennVest is a little bit behind PennDOT, I have to tell you, they're ranked ninth in the country as far as their speed of moving this, these fundings out. I mentioned earlier some of the indirect impacts. And um, one of the things we don't count when we report, uh, other than that we report the jobs and the, the level of our spending, is what's the impact. And the example I like to use is, Obviously, we know how the, when someone's on a job putting concrete in a PennDOT project. We're not counting the guy who drives the concrete truck. We're not driving the guy who loads the concrete truck. We're not counting the person who delivers the gasoline to fill the concrete truck, and on and on and on. And just to give you some examples, PennDOT projects alone, 43,000 more tons of steel were purchased as a result of what we've done, what we've done uh, just with transportation spending. That was up 43% in, uh, in, in the first 10 months. And 50% of that steel was actually purchased here in Pennsylvania, which is tough to do these days. Four, 400,000 more cubic yards of concrete were purchased. Again, another 40% increase. And in the area of asphalt, 303.2 million more tons of asphalt were purchased um, as a result of our spending. Um, and um, the Council of Economic Advisors has taken a look at this and said they project that in Pennsylvania alone, just from what we've done so far, a total of 84,000 jobs, if you include direct jobs and indirect jobs, have been touched by the, the Recovery Act spending. 